In this video, I'm going to talk about metabolic rate. So what is metabolic rate? It's effectively just a measure of the amount of calories that your particular body uses in a day. Let's throw in another term now, not just metabolic rate, but basal metabolic rate. What is basal metabolic rate? That's the minimum rate of metabolism required just to keep you alive and functioning at rest. So that's before you add in any of your daily activities, workouts and so on. All of us have an individual basal metabolic rate that is quite strongly tied to the amount of muscle tissue we carry, we each carry. Most adults have a basal metabolic rate of between 1,300 calories and 2,000 calories a day. So you can see there's that variation there. And that really comes down to being dependent on the amount of lean tissue and fat mass that the particular individual carries. After the age of about 20, basal metabolic rate declines, it gets less, by about 1-2% to 2 per decade, mostly due to the loss of muscle mass. This is a major reason why it's easier to gain fat in our 30s, 40s, 50s and onwards than it is during our teens and early 20s. Strength training can help reverse this trend. By increasing your lean tissue mass, your basal metabolic rate will increase. That means that you'll expend more energy even while you're at rest and this makes losing body fat that little bit easier. So we've looked at basal metabolic rate. What's your actual body uh, metabolic rate? Your actual metabolic rate includes both your basal metabolic rate and then on top of that, the energy that's required to cover all of your daily activities. This is the actual amount of calories your body will use up in one day, one of your normal days going about your, your everyday business, doing your workouts, going to the mall, everything that you do. If you eat more than your actual metabolic rate, more calories than that level, you will gain body fat. If you eat less than your actual metabolic rate, you will reduce your body fat levels. If you want to successfully reduce body fat, you only need to eat around 250 to 350 calories less than your actual metabolic rate. Starvation diets are bad. Um, if you go way lower than your actual metabolic rate, your body won't just burn off fat, it will also start to eat its own muscle tissue as well, which is not a good thing because you'll end up weaker, your basal metabolic rate itself will drop again because you're losing muscle tissue. So starvation diets are bad. Just stick, if you're looking to lose body fat, 250 to 350 calories below your actual metabolic rate, which is great, but how do you go about figuring out what your actual metabolic rate is? Well, a really convenient way to do this nowadays um, is to just get a simple activity tracker and that might come as a watch or a ring or even just an app on your phone. And this, uh, if you keep it on you all day, you wear it or your phone and, and you keep your phone on you if it's your phone with an app, that will help to estimate your caloric, caloric expenditure. So let's say you've done that for a few days and uh, that app or the ring or the watch gives you a figure that says you burn 2,000 total calories a day. Let's say you want to lose body fat. Now you know to subtract 250 to 350 calories from that 2,000 calorie total. So you'll need to eat in the region of 100 and, sorry, 1,650 to 1,750 calories a day to successfully reduce body fat. To sum up, remember that Basal metabolic rate is your metabolic rate at complete rest and your actual metabolic rate is your basal metabolic rate plus the calories that you use from your day-to-day -day activities. As a form of activity or exercise, strength training is pretty unique. It increases your metabolic rate during the workout. 
It also causes the body to burn more calories after the workout. And by stimulating lean tissue mass, it also increases your baseline basal metabolic rate. And this is something that typical cardio exercise does not and cannot do. Strength training gives you the metabolic edge to reduce your fat levels whilst getting stronger and gaining energy. Combined with a calorie appropriate nutrition approach, this is a powerful one-two punch to knock out excess fat.